everyone welcome to my channel if you are new i'm anita fendrick thank you for stopping by thank you for watching the video thank you for liking thank you for commenting thank you for sharing thank you for subscribing i didn't take you for granted thank you thank you thank you i appreciate you seriously i do thank you so today's video we are going to be preparing pap in nigerian food they call it akamu or pap so but today pap is going to be totally different in a sense that i'm going to be using two different products i'm i'll be using corn and then um, soya beans i'm going to mix two of them together but i'm going to fit out two of them together yes but first of all i'm going to soak them different so you can see my corn the corn i use is totally different i didn't use the uh, full one i used the one that already pieces i bought it from amazon the reason i use that is i already did a video about the pap which i will try to put the link on top or put it in my description box and i didn't buy the one the pieces i bought the one the full one uh, uh corn used to be but i find it difficult in grinding it because i end up using a three uh, blender to blend this which is very very difficult so i decided to so okay this time i'm not going to buy the full corn i'm going to buy the one that already pieces to make things easy for me and when i bought it is so dirty you need to wash it very well i wash it two or three times before i soak it and i soak it for the food i i soak the beans and soya beans for three days the reason i soak it for three days is they are too strong i want to i, I want to make it easy for me to be blend and to also help my blender you know because if it's too difficult to blend my blender may get spoiled on the way so i make everything easy i make the soya beans and then they come everything is you can see i just brought the come after three days take out the washer wash them very thoroughly because you're gonna hear some smell you know now something you soak for three days and it, it won't expect good odor so you're gonna hear some smell that you won't like so that's why you have to wash it till the thing is clean and after that you blend So this is a con after blending the soya beans and the corn. I find out that the remaining soya beans is a lot. I can't use everything because the corn is not that the corn is not a lot. The corn is not that plenty. If I might use that word, it's not that plenty. So I can't put too much soya beans because this is my first time of trying both of them to say the outcome. I just want to miss it a little, not that too much. So what I did, I used my food hydrator to uh, dry it overnight you know so that if it's dry we we'll use it to another that i can use a soya beans uh, powder yeah i can turn it to soya beans powder and it's also good to drink the pap mm -hmm. it's also good with the pap um this is i'm preparing to fit her both the soya beans and have and uh, soya beans and uh, corn <laughs> so you can see the way i tie it so that if you want to lose it it will be easy because by that time it's going to be heavy a lot of water is going to be on the bowl and you don't want to pour the water on the ground like i say the water if you don't clean it very well you have this kind of smell so you have to be you have to be careful so that any place you pour the water and you clean it up and it will be easy for you to lose too after you are done and now i'm beginning to filter it <laughs> I'm beginning to fit out the pap and the um, uh, soya beans and I mix both of them together. So watch the hand the hat come of it. <laughs> <laughs> 